Welcome to Auto World of Conway, where today we'll be previewing yet another beautiful British car, 1969 MGB. It's a pretty nice example. It was purchased here locally, Holly's Island, South Carolina, where it's spent its life since 1979 with, under the same ownership. Restored in 1993 to the condition that you see her in today. So we'll take some time this morning and walk around and see exactly what she has to offer. See the four-speed synchronized gearbox, manual transmission. The beautiful dash, leather wrapped steering wheel. All kinds of stories in cars such as this. Been driving this. You'll see in a moment we'll go for a ride. But everywhere I've been, people have stopped me and told me stories. Of the fun that they've had in a chrome bumper MG. So the paint body on this car is pretty nice. I'd say probably a 9 out of 10. It has been driven and enjoyed. It does have a couple marks here and there, but it's very straight. The bumpers appear to be original and show a little bit of pitting where you can see there as we slow down a little ding the grill looks nice there's a little chip here as pointed out in the photos beautiful body I don't see any evidence of rust repair True knockoff wheels. It's 165 14 tires. In a little garage mark there. We've got the top rolled back. Let's see if we can get in here open. Bonnet, don't dare call it a hood. There's the iconic 1.8 liter four cylinder. Nice and tidy under the hood. As you obviously, you can see that it has been driven. And some new items, like a oil cooler there. this car starts. Roaring 92 horsepower rated 69. Probably one of the most comfortable 
riding and driving MGs that we've had. Not sure what uh, what he's done to it. As in regular maintenance before, what a beautiful running and driving car. It's got a great tone. We do have the tonneau cover for the passenger compartment in case you get caught. It's back here. See how it's here, that's included in the pictures as well. So I'm not going to spare the sun visor which was removed for ease of operation of the top. Stored inside as indicated by the previous owner. Owner's manual, assembly manual there. A couple extra parts. Jack. Mallet to remove the wheels. Fender cover. Boy, what a beautiful car. Got a couple British cars at the moment. and begin to enjoy absolutely immediately. There isn't anything that we're aware of that it needs, mechanically or otherwise, except for a new home. So that's 3,246 miles. That's on the restoration. Since 93, it was tripped back to zero. This car only had 3,000 miles. It'll be a different price point for sure. So let's do that. We'll close her up and we'll go for a ride. Not that I'll get, I'll get somebody to ride with me. A little bit difficult to drive this car being a manual and hold a camera. Let's do that. All right, 1969 MGB. It's one thing this car has always started almost flawlessly every time. Uh, the choke does work. Uh, it's already up to temperature as you can see as it climbs there. And let's go for a ride. Take the emergency brake off, that would be helpful. Here we are at our main dealership. 18 years I've been here now. And one of the pleasures that I get to have daily is making these videos. To see how this car performs, which I'll admit, I'm pretty impressed. A few times I've driven it, I think this will maybe be the fifth time. I did have to put fuel in it, so. Make a little bit of traffic this morning, so we'll just take our time.
miles an hour. Look how easy this steering wheel is. Almost 3,000 RPMs at 55 miles per hour. Tracks easy down the road. Now this is a synchronized gearbox, 1969. See, that speedometer needle does bounce just a little bit. But I'm six foot four, and I do fit comfortably in this car. Easy. I was talking to someone yesterday that had driven this coast to coast, one of these cars, coast to coast. I think that's a bit ambitious for today's standards with modern technology. But boy, what a pleasant driving experience. Uh, this MG is. I go down here and go through the gears just one more time. Turn signal, horns, got wipers, we got it all. You get a bad rap for poor electrical systems, but oops, that's reverse, in case you're wondering. 